Welcome back to Real Estate Tip Tuesday. Today, we are answering the question, what is a dual agent? The past two weeks have covered a buyer's agent and a listing agent. Dual agency is a third category. This term actually has two different definitions. The first simply refers to two different agents on one transaction who both work for the same broker. This must be disclosed in writing to all parties and is most of the time a non-issue. The quick and dirty of this is that both the buyer's agent and the seller's agent on one transaction share the same boss and they have to disclose that to each of their clients. So that one's pretty easy. The second definition gets a little trickier. A dual agent is also when one single agent represents both the buyer and the seller in a single transaction, i.e. one agent represents both sides of the deal for the same house. There are some states where this is actually illegal, but it is allowed in Virginia as long as it is, again, disclosed in writing to all parties to the transaction. Once a single agent becomes a dual agent, on a transaction, they can no longer advise on home prices, terms, inspections. They cannot negotiate on anyone's behalf. They must simply facilitate the transaction as a neutral party. There are pros and cons to working with a dual agent. It's very situational. There are scenarios where this type of agency does make sense. But for the most part, the advice for the majority of buyers and sellers is to avoid the situation if possible. Um, as one quick clarification, it is not considered dual agency if a single agent helps you to sell your home and then purchase another. Those are considered two separate transactions. So. Um, that agent is just switching from a listing agent role to a buyer's agent role, but both on your behalf. So while some real estate terms are very cut and dry, this one gets a little murky. So if you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are happy to help.